okay guys welcome back to another episode of editing with kind master pro so after adding your clips the next thing you want to do is um you want to cut the end where you were trying to hit the record button again so let's say i'm done talking now and i said bye guys i'm going to play it now i'll pause it right there if i leave it to continue playing look what happens you see you don't want to see where i was hitting that record button so i'm going to trim it off stop right there go back to the scissors button again tap on it and tap on trim to right of play head it's gone trust me watch you see you can no longer see where i was trying to press the record button another way you can trim your videos is just tap on the clip you can press and hold that um yellow box around the clip you can tap and hold on it you can drag it out you can drag it in till it gets to where you want to stop so i want it to stop here so now that we've trimmed that part off the next thing you want to do is to add um some text before you add the text make sure you've added all your clips if you need to add any more clips here just bring it towards the end tap on media and select any clip you want to tap but i'm not adding any clip again so let's go back i want to add picture now this one is called b-roll if you want to add picture on top of this video or if you want to add video on top of this video here's how you do it you just bring it to where you want the picture or the video to start from maybe like somewhere here let me play it first. Okay, this is just an ex example I'm giving you. It's not that this is what I'm doing for real. I'm just showing you how the things here work. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on layer. Just tap on layer. And here you have all your tools. You have the media effect overlay text and the handwriting so the one you want to click on is the media now you can decide to choose text i mean picture or video layer so i want to add like picture i'm just going to go for this picture right here you see it's covered my face now, if you want to shift it to any corner you want, you can just tap on that picture and drag it to wherever you want. I want it to be somewhere here. And if you look closely, you can see that the picture is still big. So I'm going to resize it by tapping on this button here. Tap and hold it and then move your hands, your fingers, I mean move it until it gets to that um, size you want let me leave it here tap on the picture and move it to where you want to place it on you can as well move it to the right hand corner but let's leave it here you see if i want to resize the picture itself i mean to shaping it to make it more smaller this is what i will do still anything you want to work with make sure you tap on it once you tap on it it will come alive then you can start working with it so i'm going to tap on the cropping the place that says cropping just tap on it and tap and hold this button to resize the picture you can see what i'm doing here and tap anywhere on the screen to release 
or tap on this tick button here on top here to release now you can see the picture is a little bit smaller now even if i even if i zoom it in it will still look the way i trimmed it so i'm going to resize it a bit and move it back to where it was before tap anywhere on the screen and release if i want this picture to stay all throughout the video i will tap on it again drag it tap and hold that yellow stuff there <laughs> and drag it to where you want you can drag drag it towards the very end of this video just keep dragging it until it gets to the end right there you will see that if i play this video it will stay there all throughout the video it's not going anywhere that is how you also add your test let me add my test i want the test to start from here i'm going to click on the layer again and come to where it says text and tap on it then write my channel name maybe like fantastic kitchen and tap ok so this is the name you usually see in my cooking videos now if i want to change the font of this text i'm going to click on that capital and the small a up there here tap on it it will bring you to where you have different types of fonts you have your android your display your handwriting latin and sans serif if you want to download more always click on that icon that looks like home up there it will take you to where you will download more so i already have the ones that i downloaded i'm going to be making use of them so i'm going for the new wave which is this one tap on it and tap on this tick button up here it will bring you back to the timeline now i'm going to drag it towards the very end of this video so that it can stay there all throughout the video it will not go anywhere and now if i want to resize it i'll simply tap and hold this button and resize it and tap and hold the test and move it maybe like up here if you want you can bring it here i normally put mine here but the but for, for the purpose of this video i'm going to put it up here and try to make it bigger just a little bigger tap anywhere on the screen to release or you can tap on the tick icon to release okay so this is it the text will be there throughout the video i want to add an animation in and out animation so i'm going to tap on the text it will come alive then click on in animation it will bring you here you can see different types of animations you can tap on each and every one of them to see how they work i'm going to tap on this one maybe like this one spin cw you see and you can also resize the duration maybe like 2.5 but i always leave it at 1.0 if you want to add out animation tap on the text and bring it towards the end of the video and tap on the text again tap on the out animation which is this one and select which one you want to put as your out maybe like wipe right yeah that's okay and remember you can as well resize the duration here i'm always leaving it at 1.0 so once this thing comes to the end of this video it will wipe off but first i'm going to resize it in a bit so let's see how it works from the beginning let's take it backwards a little bit play you see how the text entered let's go to the end let's start playing it from here to see how it um fades out
you see how it's wiped off so that's that for in and out animation now if you want to add any more thing here you can always click on layer choose whichever um, one you want to add if you want to add overlay maybe like stickers you can click on overlay if you want to add your handwriting you can click on handwriting let's go for handwriting now tap on it to it bring you somewhere here then make sure you first of all change the color before you start writing so i'm going to tap on the color change it maybe to blue or yellow no sorry green and tap on the tick button to release <clears throat> and uh, here you get to change maybe your it's on arrow now if you want to write something click on pencil now you can write anything you want to write like fantastic <laughs> what am i writing anyways leave it there fans that's how that works you can click on the delete button to delete it and start all over again or you can use the eraser you can resize it here like play around with it to see how um everything works so i'm going to delete it by pressing on the delete button it's gone now i'm going to put a arrow click on the layer again click on handwriting click on this pencil to change to whatever shape you want you see we have different shapes there so i'm going for this second one here and draw arrow maybe arrow like this you see and tap here tap on the handwriting again to maybe like drag it towards the end of the video or maybe somewhere stop somewhere here and you can also resize it as always move it around to where you want it to stop so that's that the next thing we are going to talk about is voice over or for instance let's say you made a mistake if I want this thing, the arrow to come back to where it was before, I will simply tap on the undo button here. You see how it's going back to where it was before. Or you can tap the redo button to bring it back to where it was. Whenever you make a mistake and you want that thing to come back to how it was before, you can always use the undo or the redo button there that's that for that now let's talk about the voiceover because this is very important when you are doing like a cooking tutorial videos so after cooking and if you start inserting your clips once you once you've insert, inserted your clips just tap on the click to take off the sound because you you don't want people to be hearing the sound of your pot doing oh, oh, boy where you are hitting the spoon on the pot people stop hitting spoon on your pot is not good though and hey i just want to use this little opportunity to ship that in <laughs> stop hitting on your pot please with your spoon so you want to take off the sound of that video you can always tap on the clip and click on the volume button up there and you know remove the sound or you can leave it if you are doing a vlog or sit and talk video so i'm not going to be removing the sound but let's say you want to add a voiceover you can always come and click on the voice just tap on that voice you know why i'm not going to be click on clicking on it is because the app i'm using to record this video will not permit me to do so let me do it so you will understand what i'm saying let's say i tap on that voice now you see what it says there did you see that so i'm going to click ok i'm not going to be recording but let's say you want to record once you click on the voice you will it will bring you here then if you are ready to start talking you click on start button here once you are done you click on stop and that's that for recording 
and if you want to edit your voice maybe like cut off some part where you were coughing or swallowing and saliva <laughs> because i always cut off those parts that's why you don't get to see or hear them when i'm talking in my voiceovers you can always tap on the let's say that this fantastic kitchen now is the voiceover that we did just tap on the voiceover and move um click and hold the it will always give you this yellow bar here that has four dots just tap and hold it to resize it or to trim things off or you can always use the scissors button whichever one you prefer you can always come to the middle tap on it click on the scissors button like so and click on split at playhead that is if the, this one is for the voiceover so so i'm going to undo it it will come back to how it was before so please wish anyone i mention whenever you want to edit play around with it trust me this app is as simple as anything you can think of it looks as if it's complicated here but trust me it's not it's very very easy nobody taught me how to edit with this app oh. yeah i figured things out by myself so once you start editing with this app more often you notice that it's very very easy it's even easier than you think so that is it